Senate end its first year under Trump by voting to prevent shutdown. The Senate approved a stopgap spending bill on Thursday night, ensuring there will be no shutdown days before Christmas and essentially completing a frenetic year on Capitol Hill and the first under President Trump. Senators voted 66-32 to approve the roughly four-week continuing resolution CR, which funds the government through January 19, hours after it passed the House. Seventeen Democrats voted for the measure, including several up for re-election next year in states carried by Trump such as Senators Joe Donnelly IND, Claire McCaskill Mo, and Joe Manchin v. Washington. By leadership, including Minority Leader Charles Schumer D-N.Y as well as many of the party's potential 2020 contenders opposed the bill. Two Republicans, Mike Lee, Utah, and Rand Paul, Kentucky, bucked their party and voted no. The vote concludes a successful week for Republicans, who on Wednesday finished work on a sweeping tax cut bill that marked the first major legislative win for Trump. There were some hiccups along the way with the spending bill, but GOP leaders shepherded the legislation through both chambers on Thursday in part by arguing that it did not make sense to step on the party's successful message on taxes. Defense hawks had pressed for more funding for the Pentagon. They wanted a deal that increased the spending ceilings for defense, and that would prevent automatic spending cuts scheduled to start at the end of next month without a new measure for the year. Meanwhile, a coalition of progressive Democrats bucked the bill because lawmakers failed to get the deal on the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program by the end of the year. Democrats lined up on the Senate floor ahead of the vote to demand that Congress pass the Development, Relief and Education for Alien Minors DREAM Act. Congress could show some courage and protect dreamers by passing a Clean DREAM Act. We have waited too long already. So my question to Senator McConnell is this. What are you waiting for? Asked Senator Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass. Members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, CHC, met with Schumer on Thursday afternoon to urge him to take a harder line in the immigration fight. But Democratic leadership remained tight-lipped about if they would force a shutdown in the hours leading up to the Senate's vote. We are not going to address any of those things until we see what the House does, Schumer told reporters during a press conference on Thursday. Unlike in the House where the stopgap bill passed with only Republican votes, GOP leadership needed the support of at least eight Democrats to get the 60 votes needed to overcome procedural hurdles. Speeding up the continuing resolution also required the agreement of every senator. Preventing the shutdown will send GOP lawmakers and Trump off on their holiday breaks with a successful conclusion to a difficult year in which they struggled on legislation to repeal and replace Obamacare. Bickering between Trump and members of the Senate GOP conference was also common. Still, Republicans will return in January to what could be a difficult set of challenges. They will have to agree to legislation to keep the government open again before January 19, and also face battles over the DACA program and two health care bills that the White House and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell R. Kentucky had promised to move in exchange for Senator Susan Collins' support on the tax cut bill. The main Republican didn't get what was promised to her in December, but will be looking for results in January. Passage of the continuing resolution comes after Senate Republicans were largely stuck in limbo as they waited for their House counterparts to agree on a bill that could pass the Senate. Initially, Republicans were expected to add two bills aimed at fixing Obamacare, sought by Collins, into the legislation once it reached the Senate. But they dropped that plan after it became clear that it called and tea passed the House and as lawmakers were scrambling to get on the same page with a shutdown looming. Asked on Thursday if they had the votes to pass the stopgap bill, Senator John Cornyn, R. Texas, fired back, does the House have the votes to pass the CR? The President also lashed out at House Democrats in a tweet earlier Thursday saying they were trying to overshadow the GOP tax bill by forcing a shutdown. House Democrats want a shutdown for the holidays in order to distract from the very popular, just passed, tax cuts. House Republicans, Don T. Let this happen. Pass the CR today and keep our government open. Trump wrote. The funding bill also includes a short-term extension of the Children's Health Insurance Program, CHIP, some spending anomalies for defense, a waiver for the pay-as-you-go, pay-go budgetary rules so the GOP tax bill don't de-trigger Medicare cuts and an extension of a controversial surveillance program. The National Security Agency S. NSA Warrantless Surveillance Program, which is set to expire on December 31, 
allows the government to collect emails and text messages sent by foreign spies, terrorists 